Hi everyone, now I'm going to be tying basically a cat gut uh, granum uh, caddis pupa. Uh, now the cat gut I'm using, you can see here, uh, this is a cat gut, it's called caddis green. Uh, this is from a company, that basically, I'll put it there so you can see, it's in Romania. I've had this, the cat gut, for a while and I caught, I tied three or four of these flies and tried them obviously using the cat gut and they died. And the, as always, I ran out because uh, it worked so well. I ended up losing them on the stones, but I caught a lot of fish before I did that. Now, with the cat gut, you've got to soak it. Now, I've basically put it into sort of warm water. I'm going to show you it just now. And uh, it just makes it nice and soft, so you can actually tie it on. Now, what I do here at the end is I actually just rub the the very end with the, the back of the scissors on my desk and that flattens it and makes it makes it easier to actually tie on because it's quite quite thick and this is a medium medium or small does now I've got a two and a half mil tungsten bead on this is a black nickel uh, the hook I'm using is this size 14 this is called the grub boss I'm just tying it on this hook it's a really strong hook and uh, you can see it's got that kind of an arrow point uh, on it which is uh, I know for a fact that holds really well so anyway I'm going to tie two or three on these just to have in my box now chartreuse just to lighten the under, under body it's just to lift it now I'll change it to uh, basically black when I get near the top so what I'm going to do is tie it on and make sure there's a good layer of thread down there before I attempt to tie in the cat gut so remove the waste. I'm going to come back up. So, to, I mean, it's quite a short thorax. Basically, the head is part of the thorax. So just imagine that being part of it. So when you catch this in, and the way down, and a good underbody, nice and tight. And then what we're going to do is just come up, nice and tight. Now the the, the cat gut, what it does. It actually uh, hardens, but you get a very translucent body. Now, when it's slightly tapered towards the bead, and then we can tie off, make sure it's secure. I mean, it's a very simple nymph. It's very simple to to tie. I'm just going to bear the end of the cat gut so I can actually tie it in. See it there, and there we are. Now what I'm going to do is change to the black thread. Just a uni black thread. Now as a uni chartreuse I'm using an 8 I'm just going to pull it through the bobbin and change over. Now this is a good caddis pupa for granum. It's very good any time really. I've caught on it quite a few times. I mean, it makes for a great body. You have to see it in the water, it just lots of treat. Now, you can put legs on it, uh, even a, a <clears throat> some horns, which I'm going to do. So I've got I've got a grey partridge. Take away the fluff. I'll get two or three flies out of this, this feather, so I'm just going to cut a small V to get some legs either side. I'm just going to pull them so they're lining up. And then I'm just gonna put them on the side and not too long. Catch them on either side of the shank with two or three turns. That's fine. And then trim away. We can tidy this up with some dubbing. Okay, and then this is where you could put a tiny bit of dubbing and then horns on if you want. So uh, this is just a squirrel dub in black. I see it's a simple dressing. Uh, it's just a, bit, but a very effective pattern. It really works. Uh, just bringing the thread through the material. Leave a space. Just leave some dubbing on your thread. 
Now I'm going to use, this is a bronze mallard feather, I'm using the short fibres on the opposite side from the bronze mallard. I like these as horns. They're short and nice tapering and they're strong as well, they last really well. Just sit on the top, come over with a couple of turns. It's fine. Now, what I'm going to do here is just fold it back, but turn the thread in. Now, you can actually finish with a wee bit of dubbing on your thread if you want, just to save a bit of bulk. So, I'm going to do that. So, I'm going to just basically whip finish with the dubbing. And then just put a wee bit of varnish on the thread here and let it slip in. And out there we'll seal it, trim away, take away your waist. And there we are. And that's the cat cut the cat gut, if I can say it properly. Uh, you just want the legs and no more, you just don't want too much. Just pull these out a wee bit. Best if you use your dubbing needle. Now, as I say, I ran out of these They're really quick because the fish really liked them. And uh, as I say, I'd, I didn't fish them just for caddis. It, uh, for the gran, I'm sorry, I fished it for other caddis as well. There is different colours of the cat gut. The, there we go. And that's it. Quite a simple bug. Uh, nice pattern. I'm going to zoom in so you can actually see it a wee bit better. There we are. Once I've finished this, take away this fluff here. And there we go. Then that's the cat gut uh, granum, which is caddis pupa, the, the small tungsten bead. Uh, great wee fly. Just one impression of the legs there, that it does come to life when it's in the water. Uh, works really well, so... Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and again, thanks for watching.